here guys, I'm Jerry Mitchellock. I got something here a little bit different. This is an H&K 91. I actually won this at the second chance bowling pin match about, oh, it might've been 85, 86. Richard Davis of second chance body armor. We used to give away all kind of firearms. I've won several of these through the years over there. I kept this one. I've got the German scope mount for it. Anyway, it's just a very unique gun in the aspect of it. It's actually a 762 by, by 51 NATO round. Has a 20 round box magazine. Uh, give you an idea of what it is. This is a semi-automatic version of the G3, which was a German uh, fully automatic system like this. Charge handles in the front. Mag release is up here. The safety's on the side. I do have to say, I've never had a malfunction at all with this gun. And I've shot it for a number of years on different things, having fun with it. Uh, but what's really interesting to me, <clears throat> the way it was actually designed, while the 20 rounds are in it, you can really wreak havoc, but <laughs> trying to get ammunition in it and trying to charge it, it doesn't have a bolt hold open. And the reason for that is this bolt reciprocates so fast and it's so heavy that it would probably break any kind of a bolt hold open device. That roller delocked bolt, that roller delayed bolt system is so brutal in its function. And that's, that's kind of the beauty of the gun. It can be severely dirty, that thing will still shoot. We were shooting at Soldier Fortune one year and they had these things on a side match and they left them out in the desert with the actions open on a rifle rack. And when we, when we finally got our turn to shoot, when you'd pull them back, it sounded like you had dropped it in the sand. It was absolutely as gritty as you could possibly make a firearm. And when we charged them and shot the events with it, we didn't have a malfunction. So in the aspect of function, it's hard to beat a H and K 91. But the way it's designed, as long as you got ammunition in it, you're, you're winning. But if you got to get it loaded, it just takes a lot of time to get the magazine into the mag well, reach up here, charge it, and then fire. So, but when you have ammunition in it, guys, this thing will go. The other downside of it is that it functions so rapidly. You have a lot of secondary thump. It's a big boat, it's a big boat assembly uh, going rearward, and it has to stop very fast. It also has to go forward. To give you an idea, also a very unique feature of this H&K 91 is a fluted chamber. You notice this is one of the fired cartridges I just popped a minute ago to just get an idea of what it looks like, guys. You see the little flutes that run along the length of the case? That actually goes into the throat of the, uh, of the chamber. So when you fire it, the expanding gas comes along the case and, and actually lubricates it and separates it from the chamber walls because this thing is getting out of there very, very quick. And if it was to stick to the chamber at all, it would pull the rim right off. So, and it's not uncommon for these rifles to kick a fired case out 10 yards to the right. So when you pull the trigger, a lot of stuff is happening and it happens really quick. And that's what makes it very reliable when it's dirty. So with that in mind, guys, let's have some fun. Let's take that target in the middle and pop him six times. Watch these cases come out, guys. Give you an idea how far they go. Target in the middle, six times. Here we go. All right. <whistles> Woo! <laughs> what do you think, guys? You see the brass leaving? It's kind of a vigorous experience on both ends. Put them all in the A box. Let's take a time here and see what it, what it actually did. Uh, we had a 19, 17, 182, and the first shot was 93. So we ran them in there about 70, about right eight tenths of a second, guys. So even with all that concussion on both ends, you can put six rounds on a target in a second relatively easy. But I know you want more than that, and I'll give you more. So <laughs> let's see if we can run them left to right. Two on each. All right, here we go, left to right. Well, I didn't have my magazine loaded. <laughs> but we were right on pace, guys. And as you can tell by my, uh, my shoulder jumping around, this thing thumps pretty good. Let's go ahead and load it again. I know what you're thinking, man. A 30 caliber gun just kind of gets you excited on the range. I'm, I'm uh, loaded up here, got 21 rounds in it. So let's do something a little different. Let's go two on the left and go all the way to the right, two shots, and just see how fast we can do that with full caliber 
ammunition here. Here we go. Yo, that's all right. Let's see what that was. Let's see what it was. 16, 21, 17. All right. That's about eight tenths of a second there, guys, to shoot four rounds on target. With the transition there, keep them in the middle, so. Okay, guys, we're gonna do something a little different. Uh, make it a little bit harder. Two on the left, two on the far right, and uh, let's see where it lives. Here we go. Here we go. Yo, right in the middle, guys. Four alpha. And we're clear. So there you have it, guys. H&K 91.